Welcome to Mojo Plays. To kick off the launch of our brand new channel, check out some of our favorite videos from WatchMojo's huge library of gaming content. Then, click on the link in the description below to head over to our suggest page and vote on how you would have ranked this list. How did these guys ever get to be the boss? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 most ridiculous video game boss battles. Please be advised, this clip contains mature content and spoilers. Here we go! We're gonna have some fun now, kitties! Number 10, Bob the Killer Goldfish, Earthworm Jim Series. Kicking off our list is the battle against the goldfish that craves intergalactic domination. After a long build-up to an epic confrontation, it turns out that all you have to do is simply knock his bowl over and let him flop around. In the sequel, the build-up is even given the Mortal Kombat treatment. However, that turns out to be a joke as well. I guess that's what a fight with a goldfish would be like, right? Number 9. Steroid Joker, Batman Arkham Asylum Everyone knows the Joker as a villain that's more about devious plans than one that relies on physical strength. As such, throughout the game, fans wondered what kind of challenge the Joker would finally pose, as all of the other bosses up until that point had been relatively authentic. Instead of playing to what the Joker is all about, the man who laughs instead injects himself with Titan formula and fought Batman as a Hulk-sized beast. I guess they'd run out of originality by that point? I'll never let you win. <laughs> never. Number 8. Pyramid Head, Silent Hill 2 Also known as the Red Pyramid, this boss is a silent and slow muscular man with a metal pyramid for a head. Dragging an enormous blade around behind him, he stalks you throughout the game and apparently symbolizes the main character's subconscious desire to be punished for being naughty. While we didn't expect anything in this series to be cuddly, Pyramid Head's unique look and menacing gait made him a standalone icon of the series. We're pretty sure that fans of the game were quite happy that his film appearance wasn't just a cheap ripoff. Number 7. Psycho Mantis, Metal Gear Solid A psychic member of Foxhound, this villain assisted in the taking of Shadow Moses Island in the original game. Setting the stage for the series' reputation of ridiculous boss battles, he's a psychopath with a gas mask capable of psychokinetic and telepathic power. Breaking the fourth wall, he addresses the gamer directly, reading your memory card, activating your controller's rumble, and disconnecting your controller entirely during the battle, making you change ports. What a douche. Now I will move your controller by the power of my will alone. Number 6. Mecha Hitler, Wolfenstein 3D wouldn't be a true Nazi game without leveling Hitler, but who could have expected that he'd be packing a mech suit with quad miniguns? When halfway killed, he blasts out of his armor, but continues his attack. Die! Thankfully, he gets what he deserves and says his last words before inexplicably sort of melting into a pile of blood and bone. It's weird, but strangely satisfying. Eva, I'll be the then. Number 5. The Slot Machine, Star Fox Thought you'd played the entire game? Well, the Corridor Shooter has a secret level called Out of This Dimension. There, you're sent to an alternate reality where circus music, spatial warping, and space faces reign supreme. However, nothing prepares you for the boss, which turns out to be a slot machine in space. Of course, to begin the battle, you have to shoot the handle, and you can only win by getting triple sevens. <laughs> Number 4, Titanic Toddler, Zombies Ate My Neighbors This NES classic gave gamers an early taste of undead mayhem, so cue our surprise when in the 8th level we're forced to fight a quick-moving 40-foot toddler with a bottle. Outrageously, you fight it off with guns, a bazooka, or by turning into a monster and punching it until it shrinks. So apparently, in the 90s, video game violence was only acceptable if you were killing zombies, Nazis, or infants. <laughs> Number 3. Joe Head Joe, Skull Monkeys 
In this PS1 claymotion platformer, you navigate the planet of the Skull Monkeys, wherein a horrible creature lives inside a hot dog factory. A skull monkey with a human head for a body, this boss is a digitization of some guy's face. Even weirder are his attacks, which include his eyes rolling out at you, breathing fire, and belching toxic bubbles. <laughs> Number 2. Mara, Shin Megami Tensei series, aka Rebirth of the Goddess. This is a Japanese RPG, so anything goes, right? You'll have to believe us when we say that one of the bosses in this game is a giant penis monster riding a golden chariot. No, we're not jumping to conclusions. Mara is a Japanese word for <clears throat> schlong. Interestingly, this boss isn't very hard to beat. Number 1. The Great Mighty Pooh Conquers Bad Fur Day and Conquer Live and Reloaded. I am the Great Mighty Pooh and I am going to throw my sh at you. It can't get much dirtier than this. Taking the top spot on our list is a boss that is quite literally a giant piece of crap with corn for teeth. The opera singing boss of the fifth chapter, you beat the great and mighty Pooh by throwing rolls of toilet paper into his mouth and then flushing him down a toilet. Obviously, right? No! This is still the best example of video games as art that we have to date. <laughs> now that's what I call a bowel movement. Agree with our list? Which boss battle did you find ridiculous? For more entertaining top 10s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I know the truth. Now it's time to end this. Thanks for watching Mojo Plays. Be sure to subscribe and click on the link in the description below to check out our suggestion page and vote on what content you'd like to see us cover next.